On today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to find time to work out and meal prep. Now, the thing about working out and meal prepping or nutrition is that we have to understand that they're two different animals. When it comes to working out, that should be your base for fitness. You should always be working out. And when it comes to meal prep and when it comes to nutrition, that's a second animal that we should tackle but first we need to establish that we work out. So in the comments section, I wanna know how many times a week are you currently working out? So number one, when it comes to finding time to work out and meal prep, is that you gotta plan your workouts like you would a kid's event or a haircut. I know I personally wouldn't miss my haircut. Now, neither would you. You wouldn't miss a kid's doctor's appointment. You wouldn't miss a major event. And so when it comes to your workouts, on a Sunday, I need you to go onto your phone and I need you to pre-program all of your workouts. If you work out at Fit Club, then all your workouts should be planned in for at least a month. You can always cancel if something comes up, but at least you have a standing appointment for your workouts. So plan them on Sundays. If you're not working out at Fit Club, go into your Google Calendar or whatever calendar that you're using, schedule them in and make sure that they're non-negotiable. When it comes to cooking your food, the best suggestion that I would tell you is to number one, keep it simple, okay? So batch cook all your proteins. If it's chicken, if it's fish, if it's meats like, like steak or beef or whatever it is, what you need to do is cook on Sundays and then cook again on Wednesdays. So you're cooking on Sundays so that you have basically your base and your base is always gonna be your protein. So you start with your proteins and then you find your pairings. So if you have the high protein, then you have the affordability to have some extra carbs or salad or whatever it is that you want. Then you rinse and repeat on Wednesday. So if you wanna change it up on a Wednesday from the Sunday, then that's your opportunity to do so. At least when you get hungry, you go into the fridge and if you don't have something that's just ready to go and easy, then you're gonna have a high risk of eating out or eating something that you don't necessarily want. So make sure that you're batch cooking your proteins twice a week. Now, when it comes to meal prepping, is that you should have pre-made high protein snacks available for busy times. My go-to pre-made protein snacks is number one, a Neri's bar. Number two, I do the Maria waffles. And then I'll go to the kind of pre-made stuff like protein bars, or Quest protein chips. But either way, the snack that you're gonna have when you need something should be quick, should be easy, should be tasty, but most importantly, it should be high protein. And last but not least, when it comes to finding time to work out and meal prepping, you gotta understand that it's okay to eat out. You just need to track the food that you eat before you eat it in your fitness tracker. And most importantly is that you need to make it work within your caloric budget. So if you're eating out two or three times a day, there's a good chance that you're not burning off that many calories. And if you do that even twice a week, guess what? You're probably gonna gain fat and you're probably going to gain weight. So if you eat out, it's okay to eat out, but make sure that you track it first and that it fits within your caloric budget. So there we have it guys. I just taught you how to find the time to work out and meal prep. Number one, you need to plan your workouts like you would a kid's event. Number two, you need to block off time twice a week where you're batch cooking your proteins. Number three, you need to have pre-made high protein snacks available at all times. And number four, understand that it's okay to eat. You just need to track it first and make it within your caloric budget. Give the video a like, hit the share button, and make sure that you're subscribing to my YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next workout.